the Paco Park, originally named as Cementerio General de Dilao. Located in Manila, is one of the most popular places for recreation among locals and guests of the city. It was once Manila's municipal cemetery built by the Dominicans during the Spanish colonial period for wealthy Spanish families residing in Intramuros at that time. to an on-site inscription, an order for the construction of a cemetery in Bagong Bayan was issued in 1807 due to the outbreak of a cholera epidemic in Manila. Maestro de Obras, Don Nicolas Ruiz, developed a plan for the Paco Cemetery, while Don Jose Col served as supervisor of the construction work. The cemetery was primarily designed as a municipal cemetery for the affluent and established aristocratic Spanish families who resided in the old Manila or the city within the walls of Intramuros during the Spanish colonial era. It was on April 22, 1822, when the cemetery was officially inaugurated, although it had been in use for two years prior to its completion. On February 17, 1872, the Spanish executed three Filipino priests, Mariano Gomez, Jose Burgos, and Jacinto Zamora. Known 
as the Gumburza for allegedly inciting a mutiny against the colonial government. The three priests branded as traitors and killed were buried together in an unmarked grave in Paco Park. Philippine national hero Jose P. Rizal was executed by the Spanish for his presumed involvement in the Philippine Revolution. His second book, El Filibusterismo, which addressed the theme of Spanish corruption and repression in the islands, was dedicated to Gomburza. Like the three martyred priests, Rizal's body was buried in an unmarked grave between the two walls of Paco Park Cemetery. When Rizal's sisters discovered his grave, they bribed the guards to mark it with RPJ, his initials, in reverse, to hide the spot from the Spanish. Though Rizal's body has since been moved, now entombed about a kilometer away beneath a monument that bears his name, the crudded grave marker remains at Paco Park. the Second World War, Japanese forces used Paco Park as a central supply and ammunition depot. The high, thick adobe walls around the park were ideal for defensive positions of the Japanese. Prior to the liberation of Manila in 1945, the Japanese dug several trenches and pill boxes around and within the park with three 75mm guns to defend their fortification against the charging 1st Battalion of the 148th Infantry Regiment of the United States Army and Philippine Commonwealth Army. In 1966, Paco Park was declared a national park. In that year, the park's old grandeur, which was ruined in the Second World War, was gradually restored. Years 
years later, during Marcos's presidency, the park was chosen as one location for cultural events. In 1980, classical concerts started to be held at the park as part of the Philippine German Month celebrations. Today, Taco Park presents events that continue to be well attended. Taco Park is circular in shape with an inner circular fort that stood as the original cemetery. Its walls were made hollow to serve as niches and as the population continued to grow, a second outer wall was built with thick adobe walls. The top of the walls were then made into pathways for promenades. A small domed Roman Catholic chapel was also built inside the walls of the park and was dedicated to St. Pancratius. Behind the mortuary chapel, is a gated space, the Osario or Angelorio. It was a place of interment for infants and children. However, it is also used as an ossuary where bones are collected and stored if the niche rental was not renewed. Alfonso P. Santos Jr., a noted landscape architect who was given recognition as a Philippine national artist, was involved in the designing of Paco Park. Pancratius Chapel. Inside the Paco Cemetery is a chapel dedicated to St. Pancratius, a Roman citizen who converted to Christianity and was beheaded for his faith at the age of just 14, around the year 304. His name is Greek and literally means the one that holds everything. The chapel is under the care of the San Vicente de Paul Parish and the Vincentian Fathers who also manage the nearby Adamson University. <music> 